Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night and a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Disconcern the truth. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption, we misunderstand, we take it personally, and we react by sending emotional by sending emotional poison with our words. This creates a whole big drama for nothing. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 353, Nasdaq up 216, SPs up 58. Gold, gold contract down $71.20, traded at $23.42 an ounce. We have silver trading down a buck fifty-seven, twenty-seven dollars fifty-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down twenty-nine cents, eighty-two dollars eighty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down flat, rather one hundred eight twenty-eight. The thirty-year down one at one fourteen eighteen. And king dollar, king dollar right now is trading trading down forty-nine ticks, one hundred six one hundred four. Euro 106, yen 154, British pound 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. It was called, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's bring this baby up. You had a pullback last week. Fast, furious. Came down, number one, fill in the gap. Number two, into a breakout area. And now we get the bounce going. So what we have is this, okay? The gap on the on the spy, okay, was 497.37. On Friday, you got down to uh, 493. Bottom line, you're at 501 right now. And we'll see what kind of a bounce we're going to get out of here. You know, the, I think the first place that we're going to get any flack at all and the SPY is like 512, and right now you're at 500. So that's 12 more points on the, on the upside. We go into the NDX 100. Now, this is really cool what happened here because this came all the way back to the breakout area, and that's a, that's a typical time in the trade deal. So we take a look at this, and you're going to see bottom line is you, you break topside with volume, and the break that I'm talking about here was established on January 19th. You had volume there of 70 million. So the low of that was 434. I mean, I'm sorry, 414. We go all the way up to 449. We came out, we come all the way back down to 41307. And we hit that with the 75 million shares versus the 70 million. Same type of setup. Now what's gonna happen here is that we did test the lows of today, just about tested them. But that can be counted as the test, so we're going to see what kind of a bounce we're going to get here. And then the Qs, I suspect we're going to go to at least uh, 435. And right now you're at 420. So I'm looking for some real juice here. Gold. Gold contract. Look at this thing, man. <laughs> the thing that's kind of strange about this, actually, let, let's go through this for a second. So you have gold down 68 bucks. We hit a low today of 2338. We're at 2345. Now, we had a high volume low of last week, and that's where we rejected lower price. And what we're doing is we're testing that area, but they're not rejected lower price yet. In fact, it's almost like it hasn't traded. It's, it's been trading in between this 2340 area, 2345 area. Um, and we're coming into, uh, what, 340,000 contracts. So you're 100,000 contracts light. That being said, however, is that you need a rejection of lower price. That's the bottom line, which we do not have yet. If we go to the silver market, and you can see they, when they take apart silver, man, they just, it's just pretty amazing what, how it shakes out. With silver, bottom line is that you're down 37,000 contracts. This blew away the low of last week. And if I do the SLV, because you can get, I'll go back to the SLV which is the ETF structure for the silver market, you are going to see it's lighter volume, you know, by, by a substantial amount, too. We're, get, we're coming down with 32 million versus uh, 54. That being said, you know, when you gap away like this, this is 
You know, silver looks to me like it's going to hit uh, 2476. Well, we hit 2479 today. Yeah, it could hit that again. We'll see how this baby shakes out. Now, the note and bond market. Yeah, check this out, folks. My take is that the, the, and this is where you're going to see this bounce happening in a monster way. So the 10-year note, we bring, take a look at the 10-year note. We are trading 107.28. Now, we take a look at this, what you're going to see. There we go. Okay, so we came into a low last Monday, and it was with light volume. It was at 107.13. We got a little juice on Friday, gave it up on price. Today, we didn't hit the low. You rejected the lower price at 107.17. That tells me that the whole bounce is on again. So we'll see how far this can go. Let's go look at the TLT, because the TLT should be saying the same thing. The TLT is the 20-year plus. Yeah, it is. It is. So the TLT, yeah, look at this. This is pretty cool, actually. So look what it did. The TLT goes back to a sign of strength going all the way back six months, November 3rd, 77 million shares versus last week, 45 million. This one's higher price again. That's how this is shaking out. Higher price is kind of kind of come at us once again. And now the wild card, no doubt here, is the dollar. The dollar, bottom line, you know, 106, 117, and your swing point, man, is that 107. So, you know, when you get this close to it, it's like, okay, you know, are you going to go make the run for the 107? We haven't hit it yet. We've hit uh, 1065, 16 thus far. But I suspect that 107 is game. What I also expect is that what you, what you have here is that you, we get the big tech coming out with earnings. That's telling me the earnings are going to be good. Market wants to go higher once again. Yes, you heard that correct. <laughs> Pretty wild, man. I'm telling you, the, the, this, was, uh, this was quite a swing. Well, in particular today, too. I mean, when you look at this, that extra 30 points in the S&Ps today basically a saying it. This, this, this is how when you get a bounce, folks, the bottom line, you get the first leg and then the second leg comes out of nowhere and that's exactly what happened here with the second leg. This, uh, this came out of nowhere and right now, very near the top, we still get volume. We still get volume up here at 5072. So not bad. Stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes coming back with us.